We've just hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for all the support you've been giving our channel. Stay tuned for more videos. I would like to thank one of our members for putting me onto this event that I did not previously know about. Thank you, Madman6505. The year is 1964, the place, south of Socorro, New Mexico. A police officer, Lonnie's Amara had a close encounter of an unusual kind. He observed two unknown beings beside a shiny egg-shaped UFO that later owes into the air, accompanied by a roaring flame, and flew away. On April 24, 1964, at about 1745 hours, Socorro Police Sergeant Lonnie's Amore departed his cruiser on a rough and rocky dirt road to investigate an unidentified flying object which came to rest in an arroyo south of Socorro. The desolate, undeveloped area was primarily made up of mesquite and creosote bushes. What Sergeant Amora witnessed at approximately 5.45 p.m. was an egg-shaped craft traveling into Socorro from the south. It was later reported and documented as having been witnessed in flight by five tourists traveling through Socorro. Amora, in an interview following the incident, stated that he witnessed a bluish flame and a loud roar coming from the direction of the arroyo. Damori approached the area where he believed the craft had landed. Damori later stated that he had first seen the object from about 150 yards and believed it to be a car or some sort of vehicle in need of assistance. Lonnie looked closer and realized that it was an unknown object and that people appeared to be standing around it. Lonnie attempted to radio back to headquarters, but could not speak through all of the static. Then, a door on the side of the craft apparently closed, and the small people around the craft were apparently inside. Lonnie claimed that flames shot from the bottom of the craft. It floated up about 20 feet, and then flew away to the west. When Sam Chavez, a friend and fellow police officer arrived, he realized that Lonnie was excited and concerned. Sam noticed that there were several deep landing type marks on the ground. Sam believed him, knowing that Lonnie was credible and did not make stories up. United States Army officials from nearby White Sands Missile Range sent Captain Richard Holder to investigate the sighting. Holder also noticed the strange marks in the ground and also noticed a bush burn to a crisp on only one side. Holder found no evidence that Lonnie's UFO sighting was a hoax and felt it was genuine. State Trooper Ted Jordan was taking pictures of the scene when Air Force officials confiscated his camera. Another witness, still unidentified, pulled into a nearby gas station later that day. He told a gas station employee that he and his family had seen a UFO similar to the one that Lonnie described. The object apparently flew over their car, traveling at least 150 miles per hour. The case was investigated by the Air Force, who believe that a military aircraft is what Lonnie actually saw. UFO expert and researcher Jerome Clark does not believe the Air Force's explanation and believes that what Lonnie saw was a UFO. The Air Force officials brought Dr. J. Allen Hynek, a respected astronomer and consultant on Project Blue Book. Hynek found that the physical evidence was convincing, along with the witness, Lonnie's Amara, himself. Lonnie believes what he had seen was not from this surf, and the UFO sighting has never been explained. Description of the two beings either two small adults or two large children both wearing white coveralls. My take. This is another great incident. Multiple witnesses. Some physical evidence at the scene. Communication disruption. It was even near the White Sands facility, which has had its fair share of UFO encounters. Resources. Soccer and Mark.